Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the reaction of alcohol with thiamine chloride. And now what we are doing is we are doing the reaction of alcohol with carboxylic acid. So now let us understand this concept very clearly. Now we are going to talk about the reaction of alcohol with carboxylic acid. So let us understand the general reaction first. So the alcohol can be represented as ROH while the carboxylic acid can be represented as RC double bond O OH. While this R and this alkyl group they can be same also or they can be different also. So in this reaction basically whenever we are treating alcohol with carboxylic acid obviously the condition that we have to do is we have to present a acidic condition and that is what we are using strong acid like H2SO4 or HCl but usually we are considering that is H2SO4 as an acidic condition so in that case basically the hydrogen of the alcohol it would get removed with the help of this OH of the carboxylic acid in the form of water and the product that we could obtain here it is R dash C double bond O O R so this is what an ester is or the general formula for an ester is but this reaction is actually a reversible reaction because ester can easily react with water molecule so as to convert into back into that is carboxylic acid as well as alcohol so therefore this is a reversible reaction also and this process that is the backward reaction is also known as hydrolysis so that is the reason that we are now concerned with the production of ester while reaction of alcohol with carboxylic acid but we are concerned with the formation of an ester from an alcohol so that is what we are going to talk about so let us understand the example so the example for this one is suppose if we are considering that is methanol that is CH3OH and suppose if we are reacting with the carboxylic acid and in this case suppose if we are using that is acidic acid that is CH3C double bond O OH so in this case the condition that we have to do is we have to use concentrated H2SO4 with a proper temperature also so in that case basically the hydrogen atom of the methanol that is of OH it will go along with that of the OH of the carboxylic acid and that is how basically we could get the byproduct as H2 and the main product that we need is now that is CH3 C double bond O OCH3 so this is how we can obtain the ester and this ester has a name that is methyl ethanoid So this is how we can obtain an ester from an alcohol but not only an alcohol whenever it reacts with a carboxylic acid it will form a an ester but there are other methods also for which an alcohol can give us an ester so let me give you the example here only suppose if we are considering methanol that is suppose ch3oh and suppose if we are reacting it with an acyl chloride suppose in this case that is what i am using is ch3 c double bond o cl so that is basically known as acetyl chloride so in this case basically the hydrogen and the cl obviously they will remove in the form of hcl but the condition that we have to do is we have to have a solvent that is pyridine and at high temperature obviously the hcl will be removed in the form of a byproduct and the product that we could get the main product that we are needed is that is ch3 c double bond o o ch3 so again the same product that is what we have got that is methyl ethanol by using the same alcohol so this is how basically we can prepare the ester from alcohol so this was the general reaction as well as the example that we have considered here so as to form an ester from an alcohol so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have got this reaction very easily and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much